Opa! Welcome everybody to Stavi's World. We're back. 904-800 Stav. Call in. We'll solve all your problems. I'm pumped to have my boys in the mix. We got uh, Langston Kern. We got David Bory in the mix. Fuck in the yeah. fucking studio. Bum, bum. Hell yeah, boys. Thanks for coming through. Yeah. Thank you for uh, having us. Yeah, dude. No, I'm pumped. Uh, Langston, I mean, we... I remember we... You were in New York for a while. That's yeah. Where we, that's where we basically met. And, and boy, we random... The first time we ever encountered each other was just both taking the train at the Denver airport oh, yeah. in, a, in the opposite direction. Yeah, oh. that was we, <laughs> Yeah, Because yeah, I, like, I wanted to be like, hey, I, like, I know hey, you. Yeah, I know <laughs> you're good. Yeah, it was that kind of thing where I was like, yeah, I know you, dude. Like, we had never met, but I was no. like, yeah. You know, I keep a Rolodex of other fat, funny comedians. Right, you gotta you know? know what's going on <laughs> yeah. in the streets. Part of me was hoping you guys had uh, both pressed your hand to the glass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget you. Yeah. It felt like a meet you. It did, yeah, yeah. Like if we had just a couple our, more seconds. Yeah, that's you know. where a rom com would have started. I know, I know. But we're we're ships passing in the night. Yeah. Um, I would have wiped some cappuccino foam yeah, off your lips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have jerked me or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We could have figured it out. I don't know who would have jerked who, but yeah, you know. I mean, it's it's, it's about you to decide. Yeah, yeah. That's fate, all that's vibes decides. based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. You'd like to say you're the one getting jerked, but yeah. nobody knows until they're look, they're eye to eye with that dick Come what they're going to do. Man. Everybody thinks they're getting jerked. Everyone thinks they're getting jerked and not jerking. Yeah. <laughs> no one grows. He's like, I'm going to grow up and jerk. You know what I mean? I hope Steve Harvey comes out and writes that book. Yeah. <laughs> Think like a jerk? Think yeah. like a jerk. <laughs> jerk like a man. Jerk like <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I would love that. That's priceless advice. Yeah, uh, that's, that's yeah, that's interesting. But do you like this shirt, or should I? You know, that's not important. What's important is that I tell you and our listeners about our beautiful sponsor, Babbel. That's right. You could get started right now with fifty-five percent off your Babbel subscription for our listeners, and learn to speak the language like a local. Pick a language. Babbel will help you learn it. Go to babbel.com slash Stavi. That's 55% off at babbel.com slash Stavi. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Stavi. Rules and restrictions may apply. I think I'm going to change back, actually. That's really great. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, boys, for coming on to the to the pod. I'm, you yeah. know, both very funny. Uh, and your podcast is fucking awesome. Thanks, uh, thank you. My yeah. mama told me I love the the hook of it's about black conspiracy theories. Yeah, because yeah. you know everyone does. I think like like uh, you know conspiracy theories right now. Well, first of all, something's happened where conspiracy theories have now just fully become Republican or like far right, which yeah. is like fair. which is never. It always used to be like that was certainly there was. It was like there was a contingent of those people, you know, very... I mean, and most of those end up being just anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. Oh, if you, everything. If you oh, really... I mean, yeah, 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 I guess I that's true. I could, like, yeah. ice, ice cubes out there, man. Yeah, no, you're yeah. right, you're right. Black people aren't exactly you're right. We got some right Farrakhan based. <laughs> we got some Farrakhan-based conspiracy theories, probably. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, that's a nice swath of it. Uh, but yeah, it's like conspiracy theories. I feel like have got like QAnon has kind of mainstream streamed them with weirdly like the Republican Party, yeah. where it's like conspiracy. Theory, everyone, if you just if you take any type of person and just get weirder, yeah. everyone has their fucking conspiracy theories. Everybody, yeah. everybody. And I mean, honestly, we say it's about conspiracy theories, but I think and I don't want to overstep. It's really just like. Uh, what do you call it? It's it's like a cover for us to use hate speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're mostly working to be bigots out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. a way that we, we can't you, without a without a, an idea. Of yeah, course, you need of course. to like have, have an in. You can't just be like, hey, this is what I think about Croatians. Yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and boy, do we have a lot of thoughts about Croatians. <laughs> Come at me. No, yeah. I don't mean that. <laughs> And it's, I mean, yeah, it's conspiracy theories, but also it's just, like, weird, like, little customs and superstitions, too. Yeah. Right? Like, it's a lot of superstitious shit, which is pretty funny. That's the, that's um, the fun of it, I think, is, like, there is so much shit where 
It's like, oh, I didn't even know that what I've been repeating for 36 years was incorrect. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah So yeah, I yeah. was confronted with, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 with an yeah. adult being like, hey, bro, you're not supposed to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I've yeah. just been repeating things that are not true of course. over and oh, over again. What are some everybody. faves? What are some faves? Some classic uh, ones that get caught. My my personal favorite that we we've uh, had. We oh, this was a fun one. Uh, we once did. Uh, uh, there was somebody who believed that Michael Jackson is the love child of Diana Ross and Smokey Robinson. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> that's is awesome. Fun. That that's like fucking secretly sick. they had an affair yeah, during yeah, like the yeah. Motown days. Made yeah. this child, gave it then, to Joe Jackson, and then had handed them off to Joe Jackson yeah, because yeah, it was yeah. like a child of sin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> I would that's to the train last them. Guy I give my and baby Barry Gordon to. trained them up. Well, it was yeah. that's the thing. It's like, yeah, but that's kind of like an offering to Mota. It's just like here's our, oh. here's our baby. And it's like giving it to. It's like giving a, like a baby superhero to fucking Nick Fury or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you, you know, know Joe. Jo yeah, yeah, you know Joe Jackson is going to abuse that child to greatness. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to hit its Who's ceiling. Who's the meanest man we know? Yeah, yeah. Let's give the baby to him. <laughs> That's a tough line too between like good abuse and then yeah. they're just gonna go to prison abuse. Sure, yeah, 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 it's yeah, kind yeah. of an art. Well, form. it all hinges on the kid being able to sing. Right, you take, you take that, you take not being able to sing out of it, and it's gone. You know, right. yeah, right. you really thread the needle. I have to say, yeah. like if his kids had no talent, he's just one of the most abusive guys of all time. Sure, and they grow up to just be like dog fighters or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. which is what Marlon's doing. Now. Yeah, yeah. Really? I don't know. Yeah. Like, who's been checking on Marlon Jackson yeah, lately? Yeah, yeah. I bet he's fighting dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. It was funny the whole like uh when when you start finding out about um like when you start finding about all the like tertiary Jacksons. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Like, like it's just that was a hilarious moment for me because it's like, you know, I just grew up knowing Michael Jackson. And and so to like be like wait there's all these strange like different and then when uh what is it Latanya Jackson Latoya Latoya, Latoya who yeah. just started getting the same plastic surgery yeah that was fucking wild she was she, she yeah. was just like I need the same nose she got her brother <laughs> <laughs> like she was like she was like all right people don't even know I'm his sister so I'm gonna start yeah. getting the same shit yeah. going on she got her brother's face and yeah. then started doing porn and yeah. it was like. Yeah. Baby girl, oh, you are doing going porn. through it. I missed Ooh. that. Yeah. That's awesome. She, uh, male, female? I think I think it was more like erotica, more mm -hmm. than like uh, she wasn't like boning, but she was like showing no puss penetration, and, yeah. but showing oh, puss. Okay, yeah. okay, interesting. Okay. I that hate is that. showing puss is an interesting Rubicon. I don't where like it. <laughs> where it's like it's like it's like you know either don't show it or get it. Get it pounded. Grow yeah. up. I mean, you Put know, one there. or the other. What do you... I don't want to just look the, at it without... There's a world for... Like, we've lost uh, nuance in our society with in terms of <laughs> pornography. I do think there's a ter uh, there is a space for softcore porn. Mm, really? I've lost patience for it, obviously, because yeah, it's like... Because you're a yeah, grown man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, <laughs> but there, that was... That should... I do think it, it, it filled an interesting part in society for, like, when you're 13... You know what I mean? Like, you right. shouldn't be beating off to the shit kids have access to. You right. should be looking at tits through, like, a fucking, like, like, um, like a veil. A you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Put Vaseline on the yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something unpopular here. Yeah. I still really like softcore. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> to this day. I still, I still think it's just this is, fine. That's this awesome. Is a yeah. crazy person No, take. I like that. I like that. I, I think it's all right. You yeah. know what it is? No, no, I actually really respect this, Langston, because this is, like, in a world of, like, monster energy drink. Yeah. And, like, and, like, people who are, you know, who are doing five-hour energies and shit like that. You're a guy who's like, I have a little Earl Grey tea. Yeah. And that's all the caffeine you need. <laughs> <laughs> they, o they overdose us. <laughs> they give us too much, you know? And it's like, I really respect yeah. that because we all probably could jack off the tits 
it just wobbling if we yeah. if we kept our discipline and didn't completely just no, go I, like I go for a jog, I jerk off to a lady behind a curtain. This yeah, is yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah, is yeah. ideal for me. Yeah. It's so classic. Yeah. yeah. No, I respect I really do respect that. I mean, I'm way too far gone yeah. to be able to But that's honestly what scares me is like I, I don't I, we talk about this all the time of like <laughs> yeah, 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 it comes up to yeah. this guy's search history is sick. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. This guy's vile. Yeah, I just yeah. like it to look like real people is all Okay. And sometimes that's gross. Yeah. It yeah. should be gross. What we're doing is gross. And that's it should look gross. That's where I where I fundamentally disagree. <laughs> yeah. I think I think it can look majestic. Interesting. Yes. You interesting. want to sit in your ivory tower. Yeah. Yeah. I'm watching now, somebody get dogged out in a 7-Eleven bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and like who's better you're not better than me for that. This is very interesting. If we if you would put out the theory that the way you jack off is a mirror to oneself. Oh, yeah. Do you have, do you, do you, is this self-hatred being like, I'm disgusting, I'm a fucking piece of shit, I need to see the worst people of all time getting their pussy torn up, mm. versus like, I hate you how know, you phrased it. You know what I mean? Versus this motherfucker, look how he's dressed. Look at us and look at him. You know what I mean? What do we jack off to? What does he jack off to? This fucking guy, like, you know what I mean? He took a shower. I was literally, I, I woke up, I had cold pizza that has been just unrefrigerated <laughs> since we ordered it at what, whatever, midnight last night. Or not even, like 10 p.m. last but night. But you had a two-day cap on that. That's true. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. Is like, but we that know was that. my day. Mean that logic is not. <laughs> that's not science. <laughs> this is that's, I never thought of that. No, the you're FDA right. FDA didn't come yeah. forward and like, hey, everybody, you're good for We've two been days. doing our own research, Langston. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay? All the, the people, I'm going to speak for Eldest too. The three of us have survived on that on that logic yeah, you for just, years. You don't even have to put it in the fridge till day two. Oh. But that is something to it. It's like, what if he's you know he's he's jacking off the dainty shit? Right. And he's yeah. the most put together. You know what I mean? I think he, some. I, I will admit that I think some of this is cowardice. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. That's all part I, of you too, though. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he doesn't want to face the nature of it. I, it's, <laughs> it's nasty. It's gross. Guess what? Sometimes raccoons eat out of the trash. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like those animal documentaries where like they don't fully show like the 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 zebra get massacred. Yeah, they yeah. show all the moments leading right, up to it, right, but you right. don't get to see the veins yes, getting yes, pulled yes, out right. of their neck. Well, there's a little imagination to it, but then I mean, you could argue, do we really need to see that? And I agree that it is nasty in terms of like if you take it out of context as an observer. Right. When you're in it, it's sh you shouldn't be feeling like this is disgusting. No. You should be getting a nut off. You know what I mean? Like that's what, that's yeah, what I'm yeah. doing when I'm watching it too. It's the yeah. same. Like, yeah. Oh, even, I see. You know what I mean? I don't I think see. that like you want that sense of oh, this is fucked up after you nut. No, I don't want this. Sense. <laughs> yeah. That's just where I end up. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where like I finish and I like yeah. snap to. Of course, I'm Listen. at my kitchen table. Like, yeah. fuck, it, what did yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. But Langston's I, grooving out the smooth jazz after yeah. he busts. But, but <laughs> if I can wet shoe diaries, <laughs> if I can unify us, I also feel ashamed yeah. afterwards. Okay, right. It's not like I go and right. I go. Boy, was that a classy thing that I did. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. It's still equally embarrassing that's and, true. and fucking animalistic. And, and all here's the other thing. It's presented as more classy, but the people in those are you probably just as exploited. Yeah. They just sucked the producer's dick off camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of on camera. <laughs> yeah. Like that 100%. lady in the softcore yeah. porn. Dude, yeah, the yeah, stuff yeah. I like, I don't think it is that exploitive. I think okay. it's like... I don't watch Ooh. my shit looks like found footage, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, these yeah, are people yeah. having consensual sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, yeah. yeah. Did they consent like, to have it on X videos? Listen, or okay, now what? I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking porn doctor, dude. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know the, the yeah. answer to that. That's fair. But I know that these people are having sex because they like each other. Sure. Those yeah. ladies are doing it for money. No, they're they're right. desperate. That's and, true. Uh, yeah, terribly yeah. alone after. Yeah. This. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. just watching the Whole Foods cashier. Do it. Right. She, <laughs> still has the, she still has the pol polo on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the store was empty. Yeah. And this guy really needed some produce. Now, yeah. that's that's another fun. It, you know, we I want to go back to the conspiracy theory angle, too. But uh, black porn, I'm growing up in Baltimore City. Yeah. That was always a stark difference in how I jacked off. <laughs> and, sure. how, and, how, and how, you know, like, I, I mean, the, I also, you know, we're about the same age, everybody here. So... 
I grew up on the cusp and we didn't have internet. So it's not like I really, but once I had it, I was like, you know, I'm going to bang bros. I'm jacking off to 42nd. Yeah, you the know, clips. Like yeah. The, the, download the, the clips. The download the clips. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm finding a lot of Greek magazines which did show tits. Whoa. You know Greek, what I mean? Just yeah. like their regular magazines. A regular magazine. Greek, Greek, Greek essence magazine. There would be, there would be tits. <laughs> there, and it wouldn't be off. It wouldn't be every time. So I had this whole thing where it was like, there was a specific magazine called, uh, it was called Otajidromos, which just means the mailman. And it's, and it was, it was attached, it was like, you know how like New York, New York Times has this, a magazine attached to the, yeah, to the, right, like to yeah. the New paper, um, where it was like, they came together. I guess it was like the Sunday issue of this, my, my dad would get the Greek uh, newspaper delivered and I would just bolt home before anyone and it was just like a like a fact finding mission what? of being like are there tits and titties, I'd be like titties, and then I'm like alright there, there are titties or I would like write down page 49 Whoa. tits I would shut it down right and then I because you couldn't be too obvious you couldn't yeah. immediately <laughs> grab it and take it to the bathroom it's you like, shut it down you whistle away <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I would let my parents kind of you know read it a couple you know have you know get done with it and yeah. basically be thrown away and then be like and then I, and then I would like thumb through it under the guise of like mm, I'm interested in Greek culture and yeah. reading Greek whatever and after like four days I'd be like all right time to and even then I would I would camouflage just like well I'm gonna read this while shitting you know <laughs> and then I would just jack off and I would just wherever the tits were I would just yeah. be so that was one way but yes there was there is there is definitely like a it's there is the first time you just see and there's also I mean I don't know if you guys grew up here or if you guys were doing this but like DVD porn was still very much mm -hmm, going mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. yeah. in like yeah. high school like oh that was the beginning trading, of it yeah. we would trade the DVD yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah I got exactly. a girl's gone wild off a kid who's dead now yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah. killed him yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah girls gone wild I'm getting one of those and being like what the hell is this they don't even fuck the they're Bro, not going that what wild what a letdown uh, yeah it from really those was. commercials to like in your DVD player I know I know I don't think I've ever watched a Girls Gone Wild DVD. It's not good. Yeah, it's just, I assume it's just a long version of what the commercial is. It really is. sucks. It's Except a lot of... when you watch the DVD, you can tell how wasted they are. Uh, and you also hear, fuck. like, the guy in the back, like, yeah, show us those, sweetheart. And you're That's like, true. Ugh. You're cutting... Yeah, they cut out all the, like... It's basically, like, somebody, like, convincing someone to show her tits over... An hour. It's true coercion. It's coercion yeah, for yeah. sure. And the worst it gets, or, or the most like, and then it's like, so you feel bad, but there's also nothing. The juice isn't worth the squeeze. Sure, sure, the sure. guilt of being a party to this. You don't even get to see anyone get fucked. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, what am I, what am I giving up my morals for? Yeah, yeah. Why am I complicit yeah. in this crime? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just to get a weak nut. Why just, am I watching this seventeen-year-old who's clearly lying about her age? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's drunk at fucking Senior Frog. Yeah, Bubba. it's so yeah. And they would, you know, every once in a while they would show, uh, you know. Uh, they would go put. They would show puss, but uh, Latoya rules. They would never get fucked. Yeah, you know, yeah. it was basically yeah. Latoya rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> never get it. No penetration. And it was um, like on that strange <laughs> bus that they had. They had a bus, or they yeah. would have like shit. Which it's funny too, because when you first watch uh, po like porn that's in hotels, you're like, what? You never really think about it. But then like you do ten years of road comedy, and you're like, oh, that's a tough hotel oh you can you're tell. like you're like oh they're at a night's in yeah. this, this woman is getting fucking raw dog yeah. and i know it smells like cigarettes i can tell i've, yeah. I've been in that ho type of hotel room it's even sadder when you've really done regional shitty yeah. stand-up comedy is, that is for true. a decade a dirty microwave in the background yeah, and you're yeah. like, oh boy <laughs> oh man the um, staff didn't even do a good job in oh this my one. god no, not even no. close Ugh. oh i remember one time i I was I was in uh, Dallas on uh, I was in like Plano, not even like that. You know, I don't know if you guys have done Dallas, but it fucking sucks. It's a horrible town. And, <laughs> and the I love Dallas. <laughs> the, the, dude, it sucks, Dick. It is like it's like Houston's cool. Like the problem with Texas is that I mean all those fucking giant highways, and it's like you can't obviously you can't walk anywhere, whatever. And then like Houston feels like it has. A ton of it's just like a bunch of like shopping centers connected, but 
it's cool. Like yeah. there's the, there's actual culture there. There's right. like there's like uh, you know strangely Vietnamese influence. <laughs> like yeah. you have yeah, like chopped yeah. and screwed shit. You have like and they have no um, they have no zoning laws. So it's like anywhere you go, you might find the weirdest like bar or restaurant or like club right. or just like in the middle of like a of a residential it's just like an interesting place yeah they all they all their houses also are like weirdly mismatched yeah exactly like, I like that though. one would yeah. be cool. like a mansion next to the exactly. worst house of you've all you've ever time seen in your life yeah. like on stilts <laughs> and then so it's like so Houston is that right it's still you know too the cars too big highways too big but it's all weird and mismatched and cool Dallas is like just take everything bad about Houston and yeah. just put like a weird <laughs> suburban veneer over it. Right. It's all like luxury malls and it fucking su- it just a sucks. Lot of dick. Yeah. A lot of Paneras. A lot, lot of Paneras. Paneras. And What's so that fancy Taco Bell. You know how there's oh, the like cantina? yeah Taco yeah, Bell it's all cantina. Taco Bell it feels cantinas. Like that vibe. <laughs> well, I was in fu- so I was in Plano and I was at I think Hyenas. I don't remember. And uh, the shows were actually pretty fun, but. The place sucked dick. It's like so suburban, whatever. Yeah, and the yeah. hotel is like just some dog shit, like right. comfort in, whatever the fuck. And it happened to be Valentine's Day weekend. Uh, and that's the you, worst you, weekend you, to be you, on you the road, It bro. sucks. It's fucking horrible. And you don't think about it, like whatever. You just like, No, yeah, it's a weekend. I'll take a weekend. And agree. I wasn't doing well at the time. I was like, whatever the fuck I can do <laughs> yeah. to get some work. Yeah, yeah. And so, and dude, like trying to get your room cleaned the day after valentine's day in a suburb <laughs> in a suburban comfort inn yeah, yeah, yeah. where it's like that's like fucking vietnam for Yo, those for those fucking maids their, dude like imagine what they're seeing dude me? oh my <laughs> imagine the state the juices the lubes uh, the condoms the, just like the run i was and i was like oh my god this has such a fucking Diabolical energy yeah. where, I, yeah, where I am so right now, dark. right? Because it's not there's not uh, any true lovers in that hotel. <laughs> no, 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 you right? I mean? You're not taking your wife yeah. of, of 15 years <laughs> to the Comfort Inn in Plano. There's no it's passion. Just so fucking gross, dude. Whoever's this is there, just depravity. It's so and fucked up. Animals. So fucked up. Yeah, it's fucking bad. Just two people who don't love each other but don't have anybody else in their life that they're fucking. Yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah, all right, we'll do Valentine's Day together. <laughs> Yeah. Because also you're not taking her to your home. Yeah. Which yeah, means there's no. a level of mistrust it, already. Dude, and you didn't fun. vacation to Plano. <laughs> or, so. or, or the other thing is they are vacationing to Plano. Fuck. And imagine the kind of the caliber of person yeah. we're talking about now. What trash you yeah. have to be for this to be a step up from where you normally fuck. I did. Uh, yeah, baby, I, I'm going to take you to Plano. Yeah. <laughs> and like truly, the, like, I, like I said, I was not doing well. I was just taking whatever hotel they were giving me. Dog shit hotel. Yeah, like if I was in a fucking Marriott, um, like uh, uh, courtyard Marriott, mm-hmm. that would have been like the you know the W hotel compared to where the fuck right. I was staying. It was so bad. I did the uh, that that Sacramento punchline. Yeah. Oh, oh you don't take that hotel. Store. That hotel. You do is not a take that nightmare. hotel. No, 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 no. I just got stabbed yeah, on the street. Dude, that hotel sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. I didn't know, but that's, you, they you, put you in like an extended. It's state. like a residence. Right. It's like where people get divorced, like <laughs> but a divorce I, hotel. I watched families vacation <laughs> at the Sacramento <laughs> Residence Inn, <laughs> and it truly was like one of the more disturbing it sucks, things. Dude, yeah, of just seeing these people in this barbed wire pool, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> with their kids, I and it's know. like, bro, this you gotta know this is a mistake. This sucks, and if I hate seeing that shit too, because it's like. It's like a reminder of like what trash I was and am. Like, yeah. in my, like I just get flashbacks to because my dad would take us to Greece, but he was such a like, he was so like embarrassed. He, it's like he was doing fine, but he mm-hmm. wanted everyone to think he went to America and became yeah. like a rich. I a mean, king. I'm sure you. Yeah, I'm you sure gotta what, have that. You gotta pretend when you go back home. Uh, and so he would like he would take out loans. And we would have these baller vacations in Greece. He would take out a loan to look rich to his Whoa. to his fucking relatives yeah. in Greece. And then we'd come back, and the years we weren't in Greece, 
vacationing like kings, we were in a motel in Wildwood, New Jersey, <laughs> splitting a room. Five people, me and my, my mom and dad in one bed, my bro, me and my two brothers in another bed. And that, and then like when I see families vacation in the shitty places I would stay, like when I was featuring or even yeah. like early headlining, it would just be like, fuck, man. I'm trying. This is what I'm trying to escape. Yeah, you're it's trapped. Like, <laughs> yeah. You're trapped in your dad's pyramid scheme. Yeah, dude, it was fucking. <laughs> Oh, that shit that fucking sucks. sucks. Um, but Fuck. anyway, the point I was trying to make at the we, we and we're all about digressions here. But I was just like how jarring it was to get the first like no plot. You turn it on and mm. there's just a lady getting like just destroyed. A man has a long white tee yeah. and boots on and yeah. no pants. And Don't it's like, and hat. by the way, he has on a hat. By the way, yeah, 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 he's got a hat. And by the way, it's not that the boots, his pants are down. No. He has no pants on and he has put his boots back on yeah. and yeah. tied them up and he's for traction. Yeah. It was like, I was like, what the fuck is, you I mean, know. I will say that the hood niggas were very innovative in the <laughs> not showing the feet game. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you got to pay for these feet. Yeah. And was, the, the 50 cent generation of yeah. porn stars yeah. really innovated that. Yeah. Where they're yeah. like, you're gonna, I'm going to fuck you in Tim's, yes. lady. Yes. You, know, you know what I never liked about that was like, it was always too much dude. Yeah. They would monopolize the yeah. camera yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. It and them. it's like, that's the last thing I want to yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is sure. you just pounding, yeah. 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 looking at the camera, yeah. 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 like yeah. flexing. You'd be lucky to get a sigh, a profile. Yeah. You don't you even see, see any titty jiggle. You yeah. just yeah. see yeah. his hips smashing. You're seeing yeah. him pound into yeah. a lady, yeah. and Yo. you're supposed to be like, damn, he's killing it. <laughs> Who is this for? He's fucking killing it. Yeah. It's not <laughs> uh, but yeah, that shit was. Porn just used to be in, in, in uh, such a desperate state that I don't think you had as much uh, no. right to be like, I don't want to see this. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Like yeah. you needed to see of something, course. and if that was available, yeah. you watched a dude halfway dressed, yeah, <laughs> yeah, smash yeah, yeah, a lady, yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely, <laughs> who you couldn't even tell if the lady was attractive or not. No, but here very, we are, yeah. kind of thing. Very little, very little. Yeah. Or, but, Once again, attractive is not one of the main things I look for when I'm going. In the Whoa! <laughs> what it's like you? fourth down the list. Whoa! Okay, interesting. I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm like a car enthusiast. I like parts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, her face is goofy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't. Really I, see, I can see that. Certainly, certainly. I mean, but a, a face will get me. Because I'm with yeah, you. At that time, I'm not. Sure. That's not what I'm looking for. I am probably. Look, or what's even more fucked up is you have something so specific in your head. Yeah. Where you're like, I need to. I need to dial this in. Yeah. You know, yeah, and it's yeah. like I cannot. I yeah. can't. I can't be caring about if the face matches. If I have eight other, you know, things that's that I'm the looking thing, for. Man, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm a, it's a lot of place specifics for me. Place. Yeah. Whoa. Or like. Or like just like the realism. There's things you type in that will get you more realism. Like if you type in coworker, mm. that's gonna be some real shit. <laughs> okay, oh. interesting. Usually. I didn't know and that. It, you it, never tried that? Never tried coworker. Oh, type in <laughs> never tried coworker. Because it's just some dude like I smashed my boss's wife. Right, right. And right. it's like in a back room, but it's always very like they're having a good time. Yeah, and when, yeah, yeah, when yeah. you're watching this, are you under the presumption that this is a real dude smashing his real Real boss's wife, bro. Sometimes she has the work shirt on, like, it looks <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like and it's not and the lighting's bad. It's poor. It's, it's a cell feels, phone right, footage. Right, right, you know right, what right, I mean? Right. Okay. Not, yeah. Like, I see. It's not professional. There's no lighting. It's not even this. So setup. even if it's not real, mm -hmm. it is Blair Witch Project level commitment. <laughs> Don't, do that, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. To the idea <laughs> where yeah. you're like, yeah, this feels like they really focused on making me feel like I'm in this. That's what I want. I got you. That's yeah. what I want. Hell Respect, yeah. dude. That's awesome. <laughs> Respect. Ellis, what are you jacking off to these days? Well, I just wanted to say, like, I kind of... <laughs> He's been sitting on this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I really have. I'll just circle back to the softcore thing. Like, <laughs> you're so cool. I'm, I'm not a softcore guy, but I kind of want to get into it because I feel like I'm like... Too much, too much. You're an aspiring softcore <laughs> jacking off guy. <laughs> He's just a bikini guy. I'm too much. I'm too much of a perfectionist, so I'm looking for like you know the perfect clip to like yeah. finally nut to. Sure, and it's sure, like sure. you can get in the weeds. You're going through like right. 40 clips. I want yeah. the perfect titties, perfect face, and it's like 
what I forced myself to do on the road in May was like <laughs> when I was beating, what, what you forced yourself to. I love it. When I was beating <laughs> off, was like I would pull up like a long scene that was like in the neighborhood, like some milf shit or sure, whatever, sure, and sure. I would just like force myself to watch it without touching my dick. <laughs> like I would like whoa. I would whoa. Sit through, I, I don't think I don't think it's like a taste what thing. I think it's fuck? an attention span thing. Oh and my I would god! I force dude. myself to like sit through it and watch like a form of like you know meditation. Let my dick get like worked up a little Elvis, or something. You're the sickest man. <laughs> yeah. A form of meditation. Not oh. meditation, but you know, just focus your attention. Just focus your attention in and like you know. What the fuck? This sucks. You know, That's I don't, awesome. I don't this pull sucks. I'm always pulling up the long scene. You're always trying sure. to get to the dick and put. Right. Yeah. Right. You're always taking, like, yeah. You just have to like tie your hands, not tie your hands literally, <laughs> but you know, mentally, just sit, just sit back and like, like you know, let the name. scene, let the scene yeah. build a little. <laughs> yeah. oh. Get to know the character's you want the backstory. <laughs> yeah, and, you kind of need it. And you would, I'm sorry, you would jack off to that video. Eventually, I would, yeah, but it's yeah. like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like you gotta let yourself like warm up a little it. before you go straight to the nuts. Yeah, how far? How long is this? Um, I don't know. There were some that were like, you know, I think, I think like I would, do, I would try to do like a good 10 minutes or something. It yeah. just see what was going yeah, on before mm -hmm. I like even let the well, dick come out. I before you allow yourself <laughs> to pull your own dick out. Elvis, you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. Oh my God, dude. That's fucking, that's so insane. So that I do, do that. recommend trying that. It is kind I'm of awesome. I hope your penis has, has a soft glow to it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I hope there's just something, a holy light that sort it's, of like lives around it. That, that is, yeah, you're just getting yourself, your self-control. You know, yeah. it's delaying gratification, yeah, exactly. but with pornography. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then, that is and then very when, interesting. When you do it like that, like you get into the scene, it's like, okay, I'm in it. I don't need to go looking through like 20 other clips. I'll right. be ready to nut right. in a few minutes. Right. But right. you've got to be right. a little patient with right. yourself right. and with the scene. Right. Right. <laughs> well, there is something oh. to like, yes, destroying the, the, uh, the problem of complete choice. Like, Non-stop choice or endless choice, right? right? Because you fall victim to that, yes, right? And then yes. it's like the now scroll. my afternoon's gone. So I respect that uh, that element. I like, which is why maybe what we need to do get back to is yes, when you used to find a DVD or a tape, or you were just like, I am jacking off to every portion of this. Yeah. Yep. It was like it was like you know like using every part of the buffalo, which is an analogy. <laughs> it's an analogy we like a lot on this podcast. But if, I remember you'd be like you, You're especially using when it was every VHS. Every part of wild things. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when it was VHS, and you would just like pause, and you just jack off, and you'd be like, all right. Pause. And yeah. Then wouldn't move it, and then you just put it back and be like, "Where were we? Great!" <laughs> and then you just work your way through the whole. That's what I did with yeah. my dad's weird Greek pornos. Fuck um, yeah. uh, but that's why maybe what we need to do is start like a uh, like you know how they have those like bespoke like man crates or whatever the fuck those are called where it's like yeah, where it's like you get okay. like you get like an action figure you get like a knife you get a little uh, sifter of whiskey yeah the the sh the beard yes, oils yes, yes, right. those, yeah. uh, we need to start doing that for pornography okay where it's like <laughs> you get three DVDs yeah you know what I mean you get three DVDs a month it's the only thing you're allowed to beat off to you right. know it's like we, we have some kind of proprietary thing that it will block porn on your computer. You know what I mean? Yeah. You put a little fire stick or something into your... Yeah. We have a little USB thing. You put into your, your modem, right. and it becomes fucking, <laughs> you know... Yeah. It's like, yeah, we're like Afghanistan. Whatever the Taliban's give, doing, give them we do the same thing. Need. Yeah, and we give you everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and some man oil. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They also yeah, got to make you take a test at the beginning, though, to figure out what you right, like. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. your preferences. Like, like, yeah. porn match Feel free to send back one DVD a month, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> At jerk box, <laughs> but something like that I think could really help society. You know, yeah, you know. I think it's gonna clean up the internet for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I think that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, who knows, dude? I, I guarantee there's gonna be some weird shit. The internet does seem like it's getting more and more controlled, where it's like so fewer. And it's like we're nowhere near like this yet. But I could see some weird crackdown of like mm. some attempts of actually getting pornography unchecked off the internet. You yeah. Know? I kind of need it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're take hoping for it. Take me out the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't mind a little Chinese regulation. Yeah, <laughs> Put me on Xi Jinping's YouTube. I don't give a shit, man. Yeah, dude. Learn, I would have to go back to trying to find that shit in the woods or something. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's too easy to access. Yeah. No. Yeah, I do think like even fucking um, threads is like they haven't brought the porn over. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, there's there no porn on. No, no, no there's no, no porn no. on threads. Well, that's what I'm saying is like as these as the internet becomes more and more of these companies that just are like Facebook is showing it where it's like they're acquiring more and more shit and it's like they have more and more um, you know influence. It's like I just think yeah, it's like if that threads didn't take off, but if it did, and it was this kind of thing where it's like Instagram, essentially Twitter is contr- and those two things are controlled by Facebook. It's like yeah. they put their own weird. Right. Like their own weird like censoring thing. The thing that was good about Twitter before you know Elon took over uh, was that it was like it felt like pretty much you could do whatever you could do porn, you do whatever yeah. the fuck you yeah, wanted, it's wild except West. like you know threatening to specifically kill someone. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, except yeah. if you didn't do and that, and even then if you did it that, classy yeah, enough, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if the tweet was well written enough, they yeah, let it yeah, live. yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, there were there were loopholes around it, but. Um, <laughs> I did want to ask if there are there any other nice any other like any other like weird conspiracy theories or just superstitions you guys wanted to highlight because I love I love all those I love all this shit and I also love that I do think there's this funny thing that happens with like all ethnic especially it happens with ethnic like observational comedy all the time where it's like everyone thinks that their culture is the one that eats a lot yeah, that like yeah, is, yeah. is late yeah. you know what I mean like and you see it where it's like a meme will start as like Black people do, and then you'll just, and you know, whatever, whatever it is, it's like a picture of, you know, who I don't know what the fuck, and then you'll just see every other, they'll just put, oh, they'll just, you can tell the Instagram, like, they've just edited in oh, Instagram, yeah, just, yeah. and they'll be like, Filipinos <laughs> at the family reunion, and it's just like, you know, a picture of, fuck, I don't know, like Homer Simpson doing something, being, yeah. like, you know, going back into the fucking bush. Yeah, we, all, like, think you know? yeah. we all think we're more special yeah, than we yeah, are. Everyone right, thinks, right. Yeah. and it's always food and, be, and being late, I I have noticed. Are, Greeks, like, are Greeks late? They all say, everyone says it, and yes, yeah. they are. But yeah, I just yeah. think more most people are. Like, so two of my, some of my best friends are like the latest route. I mean, Greek people... There's just no. It's a very easygoing, free flowing sure. yes. society like. without a lot of like. I mean, once the we were like this before, but once the like, a whole generation had no way to have a good job. Right. Like once the financial crisis hit Greece, it was already a very hangout based culture. Like it was, <laughs> it was already like just fucking chill with the boys at the yeah, coffee yeah. shop for four hours. But once it's like. You can't make. You literally I, cannot have a job. Yeah. That it was just like everyone was just kind of. It was like Greece was actually pretty chill. Those years where the economy was completely devastated. It was like, <laughs> like my cousin was just like, all right, let's go hang out at my fucking my uncle or my godfather had just like he retired and he moved to the island his family's from. And that motherfucker just like is on the barter system now. Whoa. Like it's become Straight like up. the Middle Ages where it's like he has like he has. He has like moonshine, and he does, and he has honey from like the bees. His own like bee, he's a beekeeper. Fuck. And him and his boys just trade like, I'll give you a little fucking rabbit meat for yeah. some fucking honey. I'll give you some fucking. Like, I noticed you got greens. some red onions over yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, I wouldn't mind a taste of one yeah, of those. <laughs> it's it's fully regressed. So I'm just trying to think like I would love to hear of any any other highlight superstitions or conspiracy theories and see if they if we have any Alba- we, you know some Albanian or Greek overlap here yeah there's, if there's any good ones do you have do you any have? that come to mind I have I a, mean all my favorite ones are like the kind of the magical type or like yeah, the, yeah. like uh let's do what magic. was it we had one where it was after New Year's you have to have a man walk in the house first with your right foot no, it was. was it, yeah, it's not. Three people do. Specific. You have to go with the right foot first, or you're fucked the whole year. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so and this in, is a man has to walk in. It's not men. It's any. Well, it should be. It's supposed to be. You call it. You call it. <laughs> it should right, be a yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. <laughs> it's called the podarico, right? And it's supposed to be like the man of the house, or like yeah. whoever's in charge of the house. So, like, yeah. It, in theory, it should be the the most like. The, the most, uh, uh, you know, accomplished male in the home, whether sure. it's, like, the dad right, or whoever. Right. Like, 
you know, uh, whoever's around. It does. It's not super strict. It's not like we have to fly in, you know, your father to yeah. do it. It's like I did it one year, you know. So it's like I, I assume if you're a woman living alone. You're the most accomplished alone, man in your family? Well, just in terms of Baltimore, you know. 15 years ago, yes. It was, it, was either, it was either me or my brothers, you know. I was definitely the most, I was always looked at as the most respected of the, Hell yeah. uh, I was always the one who had to like, you know, make decisions and shit for the family. Uh, but, you know, so I guess if you're a woman living alone, you would do it yourself. Yeah. You know, whoever, but that's this the, one, this one was more that a man period. Any man, yeah, any man, man. You literally would have to get a man off the street wow. to walk through your threshold wow. first before anyone wow. else in order to ensure good luck <laughs> that's for the insane. It's okay. like very misogynistic. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Any guy it was get like, yeah, him. that drunk dude over there yeah. that we yeah. don't know, bring him, him in the house. Bring him in. <laughs> Invite him in. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, dude. yeah, I loved it. You guys have anything like that? You have the same thing? You have the Pilatic Go or anything like that? I think we have some New Year shit like that. I don't know specifics. Yeah. We always just did the thing where you like you bake the coin into the bread. Of course, and that's classic. Cut it up. Whoever gets like the piece with the coin in it, yeah, is, yeah. like has good luck for the year. But yeah. Did you yeah. ever get it? Uh, yeah, I got you it. Get it a couple of times. How'd it go? Uh, didn't really <laughs> change the course of the year much. I don't think. Uh, yeah, we don't put we don't put any uh, no coins in bread. Yeah, that's no. Greek too. Yeah, black people I think are we don't put money in shit. Yeah, we we're well, real, you wrap it in foil. We're real yeah, particular about food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, cleanliness around yeah, food. Yeah, uh, yeah. If I suggested that to my grandmother, she would smack me in the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. not a thing. It's I would dirty. like to, again to highlight: you put it in a alum- food safe aluminum <laughs> foil. We're not putting random ass dirty coins in our. <laughs> There was in our there breads. was a very uh, content, uh, contentious trend that happened on the internet where a swath of black people were arguing that you're supposed to uh, soap wash your chicken. I rem- I was going to ask that. about this. Yes, yes, and that was big. And then soap it was wash like, versus or just I remember the argument being somebody, a white person, being like, "Do not wash your chicken at yes, all." Yes, yeah. and then. And then black people being like, well, we're going to wash our chicken with water. And I didn't know that there was a third there hard were, line stance there was that a, was like, you should soap wash your chicken. There was like then a, an entire section of people being like, bleach it. Yeah. Bleach the fucking chicken. And it's like, bro, I don't think we're supposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. seems bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm with, uh, yeah, that was, I remember that. And I remember being like. Yeah, I mean, I guess I hear the argument that if you spread water on it, you're just kind of pushing around bacteria. bacteria but it's like, yeah. I just want that weird little slimy yeah. packaged juice that would make it out of the good. mix. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I just don't want that. You mean the sauce? <laughs> no, no thanks. I, I, I hate that shit, that weird goo. That's the shit where I'm like, man, we really shouldn't be consuming meat like this. No. Where I'm like, these, these little fucking ch- the chickens, it's like, this is Matrix juice. Yeah. This is the shit that's yeah. in that pod, 100%. And I'm yeah. about to have this. This is that shit that was in uh, Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the bottom plasma. of the it's, fucking sewers. <laughs> no, that shit is fucked up. Yeah, yeah. No. There, uh, I feel like there. The my favorites. Uh, there was a conspiracy for a while that the Dogon tribe in Africa mm-hmm. had made contact with an alien Hell yeah. uh, race yeah. Uh, yeah. from yeah. like a basically like a hidden planet that's closer to Earth than we realize. Oh wow, nice! And like they had basically, tri- you know, been contacted by this alien race. And we're in communication with this alien race. Fuck I love yeah. the alien shit. Did whenever. they build the pyramids under their direction? Is that part of it? <laughs> I think I, it, it is this weird thing where they're like, yeah, they they have known math and like certain types of science that like the world is just now catching up mm. to. Oh yeah, yeah, of their yeah. No, no, I, yes, aliens. yes, because and like one of the big proof, some of the big proofs that they have a crazy understanding of. Uh, stars yes. and the solar system, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is, and these motherfuckers like are straight up like what your National Geographic, yes, your titties thi- out, hey, titties out, yeah. you know, like <laughs> would be racist if I sketched it. If I was like, what's Af- <laughs> what's Africa like, and I drew you a picture of what they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you'd be like, come on, man, yeah. <laughs> come on, it's fucking, it's developed, man. Buddy. That's not Africa. Whatever's in your heart yeah, is not yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that level of like, yeah. you know. And yes, and they and according to one TikTok I saw, so I have no proof. Correct, I have no proof. Is that they were literally like 
sketching out like the solar system in dirt or some yeah. shit. And people were like, "Wow, these motherfuckers know aliens." They yeah. know it. Yeah. No, they they know they know way more shit than they should know yeah. based off of at least our understanding of yeah, their yeah, yeah. their ex- tribal experience. Kind yeah, of thing. that's fucking sick. Yeah, I know it is. Cr- it's also so funny to be like, man, if shit gets a little worse. People are gonna start believing whatever because mm-hmm. I'm already being it's like it's already happening. I'm already like even I who fight you know I was I, I try I was not really a big conspiracy theory like you know my all my conspiracy shit is just like I don't know the world is rigged against you which isn't really a conspiracy yeah you're just everyone is fucked if they don't have yeah. insane amounts of what like even America is like it's a lot more you have an actual chance at like. If things break right a hun- a bunch of different ways, you have an actual chance of ha- being well off and rich. Whereas, like in most of history, where you were born was literally where you end up. Yeah. And now in America, it's just statistically you probably will end up. But still, you get a ch- you get at least a shot at it. And that actually that's why it's so great. But that is like such human progress. If you because I've been I've been really into like you know Middle Ages shit. I'm just, that shit kind of fascinates me now. Yeah. But it's like, and it's just like. If shit starts going even a little worse and and just all the all like I just feel like any conspiracy theory will really be it's gonna be crazy how fast yeah, I mean, shit's gonna go. I, I've long yeah. maintained that I, I think conspiracy theory is just fan fiction. Yeah, yeah. For like your real life. Right? It's fun. Like, it's fun right. to be it's, like you know, to talk about Atlantis and shit like that. But then now we've reached a point where people aren't having fun with their <laughs> yeah, fan fiction. Yeah, anymore. yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, when yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. no, Atlantis was real and they killed us all. And it's yeah. like, bro, you got to relax. And because yeah. of Atlantis, we have to get the Jews up yeah, again. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We got to get the Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, or it's like, or I love when it's even more specific and it's just like regional beefs. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, that's the best part about the Balkans, which is like, you know, me and Eldis have... A, a long-standing uh, ironic racism rivalry about how inferior Albanians are to Greeks. Sure, but it's like that's yeah, what I yeah. love is like when people don't even see the global picture and they're like, "Yeah, this proves that we have to we have to execute all Macedonians." <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Just like this proves that. As soon as I meet one, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. Yeah. take them out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I fucking love that shit. Yeah, though. I th- I think it's just uh, we've reached like a this this sort of dark period where people, I I think we've lost a lot of of uh, respect for for anyone that actually is a valid source of anything. <laughs> There's yeah, no respect yeah, yeah, for yeah, professionals yeah. or like scholars. Yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. give a shit. We don't right, give a right, fuck. Right. Yeah, you're right. I mean, that's a good point. It's like it used to be this fun thing where you would have like a crazy uncle or, you know, so fun. Grandma yeah. who just got into some weird shit and you would talk to them about it and it'd be like it would le- it would never leave, you know, yeah. the the fucking cookout or wherever the fuck you were. And then you've and then now it's like well, my uncle actually is just as smart as every doctor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like that's the that is the big that's he's the got problem. A YouTube following, yeah, 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 and yeah. that counts. Yeah, yeah, and that's what's crazy is like your uncle literally can be more popular than your doctor. <laughs> yeah, he's easy, and that's, that is. shouldn't yeah. be the way that it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean? Yeah, my doctor's I, lame. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we have a doctor that's, that's pretty. He tries to you know he's a piece of ass. He talks about how. All the times patients have tried to fuck him and suck him off and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't yeah, believe yeah. that. He's. I believe it, but I believe. But it's Is like that it's more. Go- it's more ghost to share that information than anything. Yeah, he's being tacky. Yeah, he's yeah. being tacky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, nobody's trying to fuck their doctor. Don't. You don't know, know what he's like? It. I went to him recently, and like, you know how when you're at work and like you don't feel like working or you're kind of a shitty employee, but like you just try to be like fun and just like have good vibes. So yeah. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, they're yeah whatever they're doing a good job. Yeah. There's their good energy. That's what he kind of tried to do to me last time because he was like, mm. <laughs> I forgot what I went in for specifically, but you know, he just started like dropping some dudes and just like trying to like talk a little more fun. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. He's kind of phoning it in. This is the end of the day for him. Yeah, and he's just yeah. like, he's like, you got gonorrhea, yeah. fam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, legit. And he's just like, you know, being real chummy. And I was like, this definitely feels like someone's trying to like coast a little and just, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, doesn't have much to tell you. So yeah, they're like, oh, I'm going to. I sympathize with this guy by he was like good news you don't have another yeast infection on your penis <laughs> Mr. Sula yeah. which always has had multiple of by the way yeah, Hell yeah. you have multiple yeast infections 
Correct. Well, you know, it's athletes thrust. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the least athletic men I've ever met in my life. Yeah, I've had thrush a couple times. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought only babies got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's brutal. I've had it on my penis multiple times. Oh, man. Multiple times? Where do you go? <laughs> it's. I think it's like because I was way too fat at a certain point. Wearing pants that were way too hot in the summer right. in the city. Uh, and you were wearing tight, tight pants? Pretty, you know, some tight jeans and just general very unhealthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And all around. <laughs> it's just cooking down there. Yeah, yeah. it's a whole yeah. mess. Fuck. Yeah. Making like, a stew. Too humid. Yeah. Too humid Jesus. in Eldis' uh, undercarriage. But, you know, we haven't had one in a while. Knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, so. knock on wood. <laughs> another yeah. one. Knock- Congrats, that, man. That's a, that's yeah, a that's superstition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knocking on wood, that's pretty much all across. I, everyone yeah, I, don't know. I think that's everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tipaxilo, everyone does it. Yeah. That's interesting. I wonder where that starts. The, we got to look at the origins of knocking on wood. Um, well, anyway, boys, we could, we could chit-chat all day, but I think it's time we turned some of your expertise Fuck yeah. uh, towards right. our callers. And we should say, listen to the podcast. Anything else you guys want to plug here at the Midway Point? That people should check out. No, just just listen to my yeah, mama told to me. Mama You're going on tour. You oh yeah, bring David a plate dot com. I'm going, on, <laughs> I'm going on tour. Bring me Love your that. hex spaghetti or whatever Love you that. want. Yeah. Do That's you guys awesome. have that? Is that a thing for for Greek people? Hex uh, spaghetti. So we t- we actually talked about this shit. Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. Interesting. Uh, there there is a theory, and I think this is mostly a black thing, but I could be fucking Let's, wrong. Yeah, I, love I think this. it is. That you cannot accept spaghetti. Getty from a strange woman at the possibility that she has put her menstrual blood in it <laughs> to hex you. She's trying to trap you. <laughs> to like that's as a love awesome. potion essentially. That's awesome. Yeah. No, you we know, don't have never, that. <laughs> that's awesome, but no. There's no tzatziki that's, sauce. No, 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 no. Yeah, no discharge in tzatziki. <laughs> that, that'll, that'll, you know, uh, get the love potion going on you. Yeah. No, none of that. None of that. Do you? Oh, here's one thing I did want to ask. What? You know, everyone believes in the evil eye, but do you have like a way to get, a, uh, you know, do you have like a little uh, ritual to get the evil eye off you or anything? Oh, like to that? shake that juju off? Yeah. I don't mean, I mean, J O or J U J U. I said it with an A. Yeah. <laughs> Jewish, Jewish on you? <laughs> yeah, we, you got anything? Or you just I have don't. To, Do you have any? Uh, we, uh, I think we we did some shit with uh, Sydney Washington where mm. she was talking about like the burn, you have to burn your hair. Oh, that's wow. right. Uh, oh, that's it, because crazy. even like when you brush your hair, you, yeah. ha- you should be burning the residual hair that sort of gets left behind oh. at the possibility that someone might hex you or wow. you sneak in and get your hair. You. No, this is more just like so we have so the evil eye is just like just basically people hating essentially. This is like hater blockers and what you have to do is go to an old lady that does a weird it's it's funny cuz when I was growing up it's all it's like within the church she does she literally will be like she like spit and then like do a cross and I'm thinking it's like there's no way this is Christian in origin. <laughs> this is like some kind of weird mountain, like yeah. like witchcraft. Yeah. But it, they call it the sixematiasun, which means like to di you, and it's to get the eye off you. And if like you're in like you're feeling bad, you've been like in a bad mood. You like growing up, my gra- my mom would be like, oh, they saw how fucking sick you looked at church. You've been in a bad mood. They just put their fucking bad vibes on you. Whoa. And it'd be like, hold on, let's let's say, let's let grandma. Take the evil eye off you, yeah. And you, she would just go, and she would just be like, and just spit, and like, and then you were, and then, then apparently the did evil you, eye was off you. Did you ever feel different after? Were you I ever don't like, think so. yeah, I got a little more I pepper in my stuff. I don't think, yeah. I don't think at any. I just thought it was like, okay, this worked. Like it never, I never, the you know, the placebo effect never really took hold on me. Yeah. But, yeah. They would, also, you know, that would have got you, me for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I had uh, maybe the first, maybe when I was like little, I don't know, but yeah, I had, she still, my grandma will still do it. I mean, I was about to say, would yeah. you still accept it from? I'll her accept now? it if she wants yeah. to do it. Yeah, I like yeah. that. 
I got yeah. dysentery one time. Oh wow! And they put like a Bible <laughs> Jesus on my. Uh, I don't know don't that. Do that to me. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think that. that they yeah. put like a, they like smushed. A you Bible had a real <laughs> medical problem. I was in kind of a bad mood. It went away. It, it went, went away, away after like a week. I had, I had pirate AIDS one yeah. time. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they sit there and they put a Bible on your head, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I did needed you, two. I was going through it. Did you feel better after the Bible? Yeah, a couple of days later, but it was like <laughs> I shit my asshole raw. Yeah, I mean, not but, to, I don't know. No, please. That's, that's <laughs> no problem at all. <laughs> yeah. What if that's where he drew the line? <laughs> yeah. like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. What the fuck you is wrong said with the you? Buzz dude? Word, buddy. <laughs> uh, what about fortune tell? You guys ever do? We we my grandma would also read your fortune. A little bit in your palm, but also in uh, coffee. In that's coffee. for sure not Christian. Yeah, 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 no chance. No, that's. I, I will say that that a lot of uh, fortune telling shit is not Black American shit in, mm-hmm. in Black culture. Okay, like I think like hoodoo and voodoo, which is more like Haitian, yeah, yeah Caribbean yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. They do that. Yeah, but Black people are so. Uh, Fucking indoctrinated in Christianity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. we don't fuck around with like interesting telling the future and playing yeah, yeah. the devil's Witchcraft. magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like it. No, it's so interesting because my my grandma's also such an interesting person because she grew up in like very northern Greece, which is this like it's just like this weird mishmash of like you know kind of Balkan, you mm-hmm. know, southeastern Europe stuff. Um, grew up pretty religious. But also, her father was a communist. She went to Bulgaria. So it's like, she went to Bulgaria, so Bulgaria with him because he fled after World War II to be, you know, to be in a communist whatever yeah. system. And to this day, it's like, because Greece has like, you know, multiple parties. It's like the, the parliament. You can vote for whatever. T- to this day, she votes communist. Which you're not supposed to believe in God, I don't think. Yeah, no, they, yeah, <laughs> they so, completely reject yeah, 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 yeah. the whole thing. And so yeah. it's like, and and then so she's religious, but she also does all this like weird kind of like mountain European voodoo shit, Fuck which yeah. is like yeah. you know the un. But it's also like like still sort of involved the church. Like Greek people do all this shit, and it's been just kind of like this I, because everyone's religious. Just kind of by default, everyone yeah. is Greek Orthodox, but it's not right. like this huge. There's no like you know fucking five hours of church right. shit going on in Greece. It's like you just kind of people don't really go that much. It's more of a part of your identity that it's like you you find these. She, my grandma's this interesting older lady where it's like she has that religious shit. She believes you know my my mom believes in it. They're but they're very liberal and they're very like. And then they also do this weird witchcraft shit, basically. That or this very kinda... light witchcraft, which is like reading your... And it's for fun. Mostly it's for fun. That seems kind of nice. like that, though. You need yeah. a little bit of magic in your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It can't all be like analytics totally, and like totally, hard totally, math. Totally, totally, totally. <laughs> you, need to, mm-hmm. you need a little bit of that. A little bit of... I love a little cherry picking of like totally. uh, yeah, why magic not? and witchcraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah, your yeah, religion. Yeah. That's fucking yeah. tight. Yeah, why yeah. not? I'm gonna start looking for more of that shit. That's interesting. I gotta, I gotta find more. Un minuto, mes ami. Seriously, hold on, boys. I gotta tell our listeners about our friends over at Babbel. Yeah, that's right. That flawless French you just heard from me. That's thanks to our friends at Babbel. And with Babbel, you can start learning a new language in as little as three weeks. Did you know one in five Americans have learn a language on their bucket list? If that's you, check it off the list this fall with Babbel. Because with Babbel, you start speaking a new language in just three weeks. It's possible. I Like I said, I mastered Spanish and I'm moving on to French right now. This fall, summer, whatever you want it to be, you can start speaking a new language with Babbel. Why Babbel? Because it works. It's truly very convenient. I love having it right on my phone. They... They start you slow, they walk you through it, you, ca- you really grasp the concepts. You feel like a language master by the time with ba- you're done with Babbel. I set it to 15 minutes every day, quick and easy, you know? If you want to get more intense with it, you can get more intense with it. I like starting my day with it. I like feeling my brain grow. I feel that lobe getting nice and big, that language center. It's, it's humming. Plus, Babbel's... <clears throat> plus... Sorry, if you don't have perfect pronunciation like me, un crevette, that means one shrimp, uh, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. 
Beautiful stuff here, folks. With over 10 million subscriptions sold, Babbel is real language learning for real conversations. Make no mistake, Babbel's not just a game to occupy your time and make you feel like you're learning a language. And it's not overly academic and rigid. It's not always easy, but it is simple. It's how real motherfuckers talk, you know? Listen, maybe you don't want to go to Paris right now. They're they're itching all they're itching all over the place with bed bugs. Okay, maybe you want to use this for Montreal. Maybe go to Montreal, talk to some of those weird, rude, half Canadian, half French guys. You guys know what I'm talking about. You like my shirt, by the way. I changed. I think I'm going to change back. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55 percent off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners. At babble.com slash stavi. Get 55% off at babble.com slash stavi, spelled B A B B E L dot com slash stavi. Rules and restrictions may apply. <sighs> I'm telling you, boys, you can really master a language. I love speaking French. Anyway, we're gonna take we're gonna take a very spiritual approach to these questions, folks. Here. Hell yeah. I'm Eldis, excited. Eldis, why don't you play our first call here? Hey Stavi. What's wrong, dude? But my name is Jordan. Um, I actually worked on a flyer for you a couple of years oh, ago. Nice, dude. Thanks. Back for the Prince of Pleasure tour. Mm. Ended up falling through, but I'd love to work with you again anyway. Okay. So I have a friend who started dating this very Christian girl. Mm, they went on a trip to Japan together after dating only for a few months. Normally, I think that was oh, you know crazy. pretty quick. Yeah, Japan. But is the they have the same birthday so, actually. No, it's a gross yeah. place. So to you know, maybe it's meant to be or whatever. <laughs> Anyway, so she looked through his phone without his knowledge and found that he was subscribed to a bunch of OnlyFans girls and freaked wow. out and ended the relationship. Oh, um, wow. You know, she must have, like, spied on him to get his passcode, which is obviously a breach of Absolutely. trust. Absolutely. Um, so they patched it up. <laughs> That's crazy. And they're dating again, actually. But I'm a little worried for my buddy. Yeah, duh. You know, I feel like this girl does not respect him. Uh what would you say to him if he was your pal? Uh, thanks so much. Wow, so a lot going on here. Yeah. This is uh, a complicated relationship. Let's just start with, yeah, what you were saying. Japan is an insane place. To That's take, nuts, to right? Take a two-month girlfriend no, is you don't crazy. Go to Japan. Like a fresh love? Let's go That's, to like... That's a, just traveling... First of all, you don't want to know what you don't want to travel that far with someone you don't really know. No, that's exactly. a fifteen-hour fucking plane ride or some shit. And, and you also don't want to land somewhere where like neither of you know how to do the stuff. Yeah, right. you know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah, you gotta yeah. kind of know somebody's got to be an expert. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah, in two yeah. months. And yeah. Japan, you is probably a different you. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he touches down, he starts going crazy. She wasn't <laughs> yeah. ready for that. He's I don't know the little girl panty machine. She didn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they de you definitely can do some real fucking, some real blaspheming, yeah, uh, some real sinful shit over there. Uh, but they button it up. They do. It is funny. It's very like we're proper, but we also, you know, yeah. They, Everything about this is weird. I don't like it. Yeah, I mean, so first of all, being <sighs> spying on your phone, like that's one of those things where it's like, it's like. Uh, it, this isn't like a real court of law. There's no due process. Mm -hmm. So it depends on how. what did they catch you with with the illegally obtained. Like, yeah, right. she got the OnlyFans thing without a warrant, sure. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but like, <laughs> but it's not, you, you can't get that thrown out of court if you're like cheating or if like something horrific, if you're doing something yeah. horrific and someone steals your shit after like being like, they've been acting really weird. Like, I right. know I shouldn't do this. But taking betraying their trust, you're you're is like a smaller sin in the grand scheme of things versus what the fucked up thing they're doing. Yeah. But to just find his passcode with no he's done nothing wrong and then He took you to Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, a pretty yeah. Cool guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a fool, but he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean but to do that, and what you find is that he subscribed to OnlyFans. Yeah, is porn. It's like which by the way he pays. So exactly. he's ultimately a great guy. He's yeah. he's paying for his. He's actually consuming porn in an ethical way. It's like it'd be worse if you caught it. If you looked at his, you know, I guarantee you he's watched porn or X videos or whatever. Not paid for shit. Yeah, he's, he's not paying actually for every a good joke. guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but the ratio is better than most of us for this sure. guy. Um, and so to me. Like, 
whenever you're like, why the fuck did you go through my phone? That's like a complete, you're probably guilty and you're trying to cling to some kind of argument. Sure. But here it's like, yeah, why did you go through my yeah, phone? It, yeah, what it, was the... What the fuck is this? I wasn't doing anything fucked up. Because he was going crazy in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only... Because she did it in Japan, right? Or is that just like another... No, I think that was, think just, was a, just a tidbit. A little, oh, little okay. bit of info. I, I do think, yeah, if she was going through his text messages... And found a bunch of stuff. That's a different conversation. Yep. But to just find an app and be yeah. like, I disapprove of like crazy. you yeah. having this relationship with an app is fucking nuts. Like, I know. Leave them. I don't know. You don't have to love that. No, and obviously, th- your Christian Jesus uh, tells you otherwise. But yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. you got to know that this is who this dude was before you guys started hooking up. Totally. I mean, yeah. Don't get me wrong. To and I think that's like. The OnlyFans conversation is an interesting thing of, like, it's one thing to pay for your porn. It's another thing to be, like, uh, I I have a wife and child, and I send uh, I send a 22-year-old in Ohio $10,000 a month <laughs> yeah. for, her, for her to look at my penis and tell me what's bad about it. Yeah, I'm right? sponsoring this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. there's definitely, like, OnlyFans is a little, it is a little case-by-case, case, yeah. and it's a little case-by-case case about if he's just subscribing and actually just paying for porn, no problem whatsoever. Right, there's no interaction there. But if it's like, if it is this little gray area where it's like, you know, some people might have, it's like a, di- it's digital sex work of all kinds where it's like, it goes from just paying for essentially softcore to like paying to have phones, to have, you know, yeah. online, to have like uh, internet sex with somebody. Yeah, whatever. it's like a build your own adventure. Yeah, right. so oh, it can be, it's a little bit of a gray area, but it, to me, the bigger problem here is, it's like, he wasn't doing anything wrong at all. She did the much more fucked up thing, yeah. which is like early on in a nice relationship, spying on someone and betraying yeah. their trust is so much worse uh, than being subscribed to OnlyFans, which is not bad. And so if he were my friend, if this is what this guy ultimately asked us, I would be like, dude, you cannot. I mean, straight up, I would say you can't date this person. Yeah, I would. Too. That's I, crazy. That's it's, in, like, it's also indicative of like that doesn't go away. Like if that's what she's willing to do in the beginning. Yeah. Imagine exactly. once she's actually invested in exactly. this thing, she's gonna be outside of the bushes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's not gonna be like, you know what? She actually got pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah she yeah, yeah, chilled yeah, the fuck yeah, out. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> that's a one. That's a one in one hundred situation yeah, yeah, where someone yeah. does something insane early. And I will say that. That can happen with somebody who's like newly out of some kind of Christianity or like Mormonism or some kind of like real like you know Orthodox Judaism. Like when people leave like a very you know strict yeah, thing and come out of it, right. there is a little adjustment period where they're like they freak out and everything that's kind of programmed into them they act kind of wild and and then they're like I really I had to get that out of my system that was fucking stupid I'm sorry yeah. but if she it doesn't feel like she's this isn't an ex very christian girl this is just somebody who might not if she disapproves of him just paying for pornography and like just trampled over his privacy those are two crazy I, I will problems. Say, uh, I, I imagine uh, there is a, uh, a swath of women who interpret the OnlyFans as cheating in part because you are paying one person specifically. Right. You know what I mean? That, sure. Like, it's more intimate. It's very personalized and that's, where it's like, not nah, that's I'm my girl yes. versus like, oh, I'll just look at titties wherever they but, are. And, and that's why I say it's like, I think it, I don't want to blanket approve of it either right yeah. like i will say it's case by case yeah, that's yeah, what i was yeah. that's kind of what i was the point i was trying to get at earlier where it's like yes i can see that but if if you are just like in a relate and again this is with for a couple to decide but like in a relationship i think if you were like look i feel bad most most women that do porn are exploited i'm just paying for this i'm not dming yeah i'm not right. paying for extras you know what i mean i have no relationship here I think that's totally appropriate, but some women might not agree. I'm just saying, like, the, the, in this scenario, whatever's going on here, and it's like, yeah, maybe there was a way to have that conversation or something, but, like, this definitely isn't it. Like you The know, real crossing the line was going through the phone. Great. Exactly. That's, that's way more crossing the line doesn't than doesn't matter anything. what he has in there or doesn't exactly. have in yeah, there. Yeah. You, were, you were bugging to begin with. Yes. And then y'all need to learn to talk to each other to resolve whatever that the differences are. For sure. And look, I'm not saying that's not 
possible, but I would be a little skeptical. And I think early on, I just think going through somebody's phone early when there's been no problems, yeah. it's like, yeah. even if there were, that's fucked up. But to do that this early where there's ostensibly no issue no. is the, is such a huge fucking red flag, in my opinion. That's, yeah, agreed. You got to dump that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody ever gone through your phones? Have you ever been? Fuck no. No, no. no. Eldish? Yeah, nobody. No. Ever. Yeah. No. I keep that shit tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep yeah. it close to the vest. <laughs> That's not true. I had an ex one time, but we were like very like on and off yeah, yeah, type yeah. situation. So I think neither of us ever felt very of settled course, in this. Of course, this. of course. So right. I, I yeah. yes, but not in a way that like ever turned into like yeah. massive blow ups. It was just more like, who is this? And I'm like, why are you yeah, looking at all this yeah, soft core? Yeah. I don't think we should be doing <laughs> yeah, this yeah, at yeah. all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why is this lady covered in a sheet? Why are you subscribed to Cinemax? <laughs> that network doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely had that where it's like, I, no one's going through my phone, but it's like, it's also girls now are such internet detectives yeah. where I've been That's like, the thing. They who's can this? Find... Why are you following her? And it's like, right. I fucked her when we weren't together. What do you want? Like, yeah. what do you want from me? You yeah. got me. I'm like, yes, obviously this is not my old friend. Oh. <laughs> Put like, the cuffs on yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like, what, the, what the fuck do you want from me? Uh, anyway. All right. So, yeah. Sorry, Jordan. Your friend seems like to be... I would be... I would. And look, we don't know the whole situation, but I would approach with extreme caution and try and set your boundaries and uh, if she uh, oversteps them, be like, all right, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. If you don't want to end it now, which I would be cautioning my friend probably to do. Or start stop hanging out with that guy because he's going to suck soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's going to be around. Yeah. Cut your losses. Be around. He can't yeah. go anywhere now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's calling while you guys are out bowling or something. Yeah. He's going to tuck in his shirts. It's going to suck. <laughs> 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 All right, Big Eld, hit us with another one. Hey, Stavi, Eldis, how's it going, babies? I oh. love you both. <laughs> love Thanks, the show. Uh, so up until maybe a week ago, I was an incredible bet. I'm a type 1 diabetic, landed in the hospital. Oh, wow. uh, life fucking sucked, man. Just medical bills and credit card maxed out out the ass. Um through uh, fortunate events and recent happenings, what? Uh, my debt has uh, pretty much taken care of, and I feel like I have a new lease on life. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, that's what, great. But... What is the best things I can do to prevent myself from, uh, you know, getting into any kind of situation like this again? And how? What do I do going forward for myself? Thank Wait, you. What is this situation? <laughs> yeah. Does he mean diabetes? Just have diabetes? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you can stop yourself from getting diabetes. Hey, Stabby, how do I uh, not be poor again? <laughs> yeah. I also love one of the vaguest senses I've ever heard in my life. Due to fortunate events and recent happenings, <laughs> what the fuck what? does that even mean? I, I really hope you won the lottery. Did I you win the lottery? Is, yeah. Did somebody did leave some, you money? He did, did some did you dark rob to a get bank? It. Wow. <laughs> There's a darkness there that he tried to gloss over. You think he, the language is too too fanciful? You He's also pretty dead. stupid, though. Yeah. <laughs> so he might just not. This Due to fortunate events and recent happenings might be like, his smartest sentence. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like he, he, might, he might be thinking that he is being very eloquent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't... First of all, how the fuck did you get this money? That's insane. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, and, and you say it's pretty much taken care of. Are you fully out of debt? If you're not, then... Because you say pretty much taken care of and you feel like you have a new lease on life. One thing I would... One piece of advice I would say is if you're only... If you're close to being out of debt... Take get rid of all the debt. Yeah, keep, don't let yeah. that shit. Don't let the interest rates fucking get you slowly back into debt. That's a big problem. You had two hundred k in debt, and now you only have ten k or something. If you don't make payments on that or pay it off completely, that can fucking spiral back. So I, I guess my first advice would be: you've been given this weird nebulous opportunity that you didn't really explain to us, <laughs> and you're mostly out of debt. If you're mostly, get the all the way out of fucking debt, and then yeah. I would say like. 
yeah, don't fucking take credit cards out. Don't do that. Do, don't do any of that stuff if you can help it. Because it sounds like you were in the hospital for having diabetes. And if they, except for medical emergencies, don't get into debt, I think would be my most. Yeah, and diabetes. Also, take your insulin. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. A, take care of yourself. Yeah. It's a relatively manageable yeah. uh, disease, obviously. Yeah. And, and yeah. yeah, do do that. Yeah, take it. Yeah, exactly. You got a new lease on life. You know what to do. I, I guess we're just like feed yourself good food and like, you know, just focus. You're feeling very happy. You have this debt, this debt, emotional and financial lifted off you. So don't squander the opportunity. I would say don't feel like it's party time. This, this is like step one. This is not like, you know, a, something to celebrate yet. I wouldn't. I mean, it's something to celebrate, but it's like. You haven't done anything. It doesn't seem like you worked for this. Right. So don't, you know what I mean? Like don't. Treat it as a start, not an end. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Don't yeah. be like in Dumb and Dumber where they just keep taking money <laughs> out of the fucking thing and writing IOUs <laughs> and buying yourself like an orange suit. Yeah, now is not the time to play the ponies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Agree to it lets you know a really good Unless horse. you have a good tip and yeah. you have a good, or a really strong feeling. Bet to show those are the better odds. <laughs> <laughs> Absent a really strong feeling on a gambling opportunity, <laughs> be wise with your money. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, I don't know. This is very basic advice, but it does feel like what you need to hear is just don't be fucking dumb with your cash. And if you're in some debt, get out of it completely and and just take care of yourself. Um, <clears throat> if it's if if you your diabetes got bad because you just didn't, so you know. Fuck. That's it, bro. That's all I can tell you. I'm glad that one at least had like a uplifting ending because yeah. it, it really sounded like it was going to get bad. <laughs> I know, I know. The beginning. And I would love to know how you got the money. I mean, you know. That's the question. That's crazy, yeah. yeah. That's the big question, right? Mm -hmm. What did you do to... Yeah. Due to some fortuitous uh, <laughs> circumcisions. Yeah. He killed his mom and got and put, put out a, a life insurance policy on her three months ago. So he's, he's caked up now. Um, or maybe even worse, his mom knew he couldn't do anything, so she faked her own accidental death oh. after putting a life insurance policy on herself. That's a good right. mom. I like That's that. a great mom. Yeah. That's a really good mom. He was too dumb to handle was, it. He could this... never get out of the debt. He's like, this motherfucker's been eating butterscotch crimpets <laughs> every fucking Wonder day. Wonder why his foot hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this girl I went to high school with killed her mom. Wow. Uh, Holy shit. Jesus Christ. That's yeah. fucking wild. She, she, it, it, it's a pretty fucked up story. <laughs> yeah, she, you don't say. <laughs> yeah, this one doesn't get better. Uh, she so she flew. She flew with her mom, and her uh, secretly flew her boyfriend oh to uh, Indonesia. God. I think it oh, was. Holy and, shit! And they were staying in a hotel. The boyfriend hid in the hotel. They murdered the mom the and then what? stuffed her in a suitcase. Holy and, shit. And got caught by like the Indonesian, uh, you know, yeah. fucking police. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. she's now serving, I think, uh, he's serving like a lifetime sentence over there. And she has been serving for like 15 years, had a kid in prison. What the and fuck? She, it was like, yeah, it's Wait. in the news and shit. Yeah. What? Was she pregnant when she got in? Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, so it's not yeah. a guards kid. <laughs> <laughs> I but love that dude. It's, it's really fucked up because the, the prisons over there are actually like pretty chill. Oh, wow. Like she's having a really nice time. And like, <laughs> Yeah. She did a really mean, yeah, horrible yeah. thing yeah, 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 without yeah, yeah. justification. And like every video is her being like, I don't know. I like it. Yeah, I get plenty of sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you have videos? There's like she's been on 2020 a bunch of times wow. and like it was like a big deal. Why Indonesia? I wonder if that's like part of like American racism where you're like, well, the cops in third world countries are yeah. stupid. Yeah. yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like I, I could probably easily outsmart them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't speak English. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> damn, that's fucking wild. Yeah, I would, yeah. Damn, I want to dig into that one. That's an interesting one. Put that down for a future Kush Brothers episode, Elders. <laughs> we do once a month. We do the news and we get high. Fuck yeah! So if you're ever up. back, you know, Hell come yeah. do oh, Kush right. Brothers. We'll we'll that'd be great. We'll specialize that. Uh, We'll we'll spend some time on that one, Dan. <laughs> That's so fucking awesome. Or maybe we'll just FaceTime you in Langston when we're doing when we're doing uh Kush Brothers. I've and we're that. doing that specific story. Uh goddamn. All right. Well, uh good for, I mean she's 
She's in that nice prison living, yeah. <laughs> living it up. Yeah, it seems like it's going okay for her. What happens to the thriving. kid? I, oh, I, yeah, the grandma can't take her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, for a while, I think the kid was there with her, mm-hmm. and then I don't know now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I'm not checking in. It's been a while. In. You're not checking in. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we, we will. You doing, baby girl? We will cover this story on a future Kush Brothers episode. That's our promise to you folks. I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> hit us with another one, Big Eld. Hey, Stav and Stav's guest and LD, what's going on? Um, I'm calling. I needed some advice talking to my friends. I don't drink uh, alcohol. Just I just don't do it. Mm-hmm. I get nervous sometimes around people who are excessively drinking. Mm. And uh, my fair. friends have just been like on one lately, just constantly <laughs> getting drunk every time we hang out. Nice. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a buzzkill, cool. but I am wondering how I can approach them about just slowing it down when they're around me, just because, mm. like, I want them to have a good time, but I also want me to have a good time, too. Yeah, of course. So, sure. Any advice would be dope. All right. Thanks. Love you. You got to get away from those friends, man. This yeah. is an interesting question, because it's like, it depends. This is hugely, I mean, there's no way this caller is not. In her early twenties, right? right for like sure. early twenties, even late teens, yeah, like yeah. Right, right, like right. if 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 you're even in your mid twenties, like but early twenties, everyone's getting fucked up constantly, mm-hmm. and there's re- even people who would end up not drinking that much are getting fucked up constantly. Right, like yeah. I was, I don't really drink that much. I'm a I'm a you know couple cocktail max guy at this yeah. point. Like I definitely smoke more weed, but when you're twenty through twenty four. You're getting blackout drunk. That's what constantly. you do. You get bricked. Yeah. You know? And so it's tough because there's really no way if that's if that's the age range you're in, which we're gonna guess you are, there's actually no way to not be a bus you can't kill. Fix that. Yeah. I hate to I hate to say this, but there really isn't. Like these like even if with some when they you're right, don't get me wrong, you are correct. You should be able to be like, hey guys. Can you not get this fucked up around me? And I'm, I'm guessing if you're nervous and you don't drink alcohol at all, probably you have a not chill relative that gets drunk. Like, that's usually what happens. It's like, you have a drunk ass dad, you have a right. drunk ass yeah, mom, yeah, yeah. and you're like, I can't. You, you've skipped. I've seen the worst version of this. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. And they're such drunks that usually those people either, that's what happens. Either they become such horrible drunks and then in their 30s or late 20s just become sober, which in comedy is like, this is not that's, a problem in comedy at all because it's like right. half the people I am friends with are were so good at drinking they had to stop, you know? Yeah, and so yeah. like, and so everyone <laughs> understands when you get, but that's I think most people too. Once you're in your 30s or even late 20s, enough people have kind of stopped. Not, not that... Most people still drink, but enough they know enough people that are sober. You got to give like, people you know. space to burn out. Yeah. Exactly. We we talked about this. Uh, yeah. I used to I used to drink uh, Kraken rum. That was <laughs> Kraken. My, yeah. Insane. <laughs> I used to. I would buy a, a yeah, yeah, yeah. with a, the, with the octopus on yeah, it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I would yeah. buy a twenty ounce of of uh, vanilla coke. <laughs> I would pour a third of it out. And I'd fill the rest with Hell cracking yeah, rum. That's the most softcore and porn I, drink ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I just get, I'd get fucking blackout that drunk. Is, I, I hate to shit. say it, that is a light skin uncle's uh, <laughs> drink. <laughs> it's <laughs> cool. Cracking and vanilla, cracking and vanilla coke. Come on, you know what daddy <laughs> likes. <laughs> you need to be drinking that shit with like a white linen uh, button down yeah, on, not right. working the grill, but observing the guy sure. working the grill. I'm learning. You're, I'm you know, learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just there study. for backup, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God willing, you'll never have to grab the spatula, but in emergency, you might have to kick, you know what I mean? Uh, that's so fucking funny. But yeah, dude, don't get me wrong. I'm not I me. Mean, who am I to judge? I was a big Raspberry Stoley guy myself. Oh, okay. You know? Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, not yeah. even the best version of Raspberry no, Vodka. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, don't get me wrong. I was in the Smirnoff camp as well. Sure. But, uh, yeah, no, I wasn't drinking. I wasn't drinking manly drinks at all. No. Uh, but But that is the thing here is that like, Yes, if you're in your early 20s, they're just not, and half of them will be like, in four years, they'll be like, hey, sorry, we were dicks about how drunk we were getting. But they just are not, you have have a perspective on drinking that they 
my guess is you got it the hard way, and they also have to get it their own hard way, yeah. which is just by being fucked up all the time. And I mean, it just uh, it you, becomes a pick your battles situation as well. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. you don't want to hang out with them on Friday night. Maybe hang right, out with them right, right. Sunday afternoon or some right, shit right, like that. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, Where it's right. like. There are positions that lend themselves to drinking more than others. Yeah, it suggests a game night instead of fucking uh, yeah. just hanging uh, out at the park. Or when I was yeah, 21, fun. I'd have fucked up a game night. Though, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, You're nah. getting fucked up at the game night. I do get sure. pretty blackout at my own game nights. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cracking a vanilla coke? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, baby, pull out the good stuff. <laughs> uh, scrabbles in. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah I mean it's just that I hate the and yes I think it's a pick your battles thing and you don't, you don't want to like um, you don't want to like lose these friends but it's like you also clearly are a person who's not comfortable in these like extreme drinking situations and you know you can say like hey could you guys slow down a little bit but <sighs> it's more it's better just to like be realistic about like it, if your friends were anything like all of us were in our early 20s, yeah. they're just going to like, they're not going to take that well. <laughs> like they're not yeah. even, they're not even going to be like, they'll be like, um, because at that it's age. also set your boundaries. You're yeah. young. Start doing that early. But, set your boundaries. But also on some level, it's like, it's like, hey, I'm not, they're not forcing her to drink. No. Right. right. So they're like, hey. I don't give a fuck what you do, but you're not telling me yeah, yeah, not yeah. to get fucked up, right? No, I'll push you down. You know, you it's, like, it's like I am getting as <laughs> fucked up as I want. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I would just say, like, unless somebody's, like, a super close friend and it's, like, you know, it's a, it's a plan you all made together, you can't go out to a party and be like, hey, I'd really, I'd prefer if you stopped at four drinks. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just a weird, it's just, you're in a weird position. And like. You're in the minority in that situation too. Like. Yeah. And over time you will find, like, you will, everyone will kind of mellow out, whatever. And yeah, I think Dave, David's right where it's like, just chill, like pick your spots, hang out, maybe hang out with them when they're, when you can tell when like the perfect storm of them getting insanely fucked up is like, yeah. you know, you, whatever college you go to, they just want a big football game. There's two for one <laughs> Bud Lights. You know what I mean? Like when you get, you got, you're like, uh-oh, yeah. my yeah, eyes blackout's coming, yeah. right? Stay indoor, take shelter for those. Uh, and then if it's more of a chill situation, be there. But it's like, you really can't, you really can't affect this kind of drinking. Now, if we misread you and you have a youthful voice and your friends are in their fucking late 20s, early 30s, I think you actually can have a conversation that's like, hey, man, when we hang out, can you just not get that fucked up? Yeah. We're not yeah. in our fucking 20s. And you can even say that, which is like, we're not fucking in our 20s or yeah. early yeah, 20s anymore. Point? Like, just chill out. This is kind of like sloppy behavior. I hope um, this lady is 55 years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a voice actress. She does the voice for Tommy Pickles. That's why she sounds so young. That's always so weird when she's just the oldest lady of all yeah. time. Oh, yeah. She's like, my dude. friends won't stop yeah. getting blacked out. <laughs> uh, um, so anyway, good luck. Hope that helps. But people are fucking animals in their 20s. <laughs> they're in their early 20s. Yeah, they're just going to go hard and break shit. And they, they deserve gonna... that. They Ooh, do. We need bit. those stories yeah. to be able yeah, to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. fill podcasts. Of <laughs> 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 it's true it's true what if Langston had never had that embarrassing drink we would have we would have lost a solid three and a half minutes of riffing <laughs> clocking in at an hour 27 no thanks <laughs> hit us with another one Eld yeah what up Stav uh, love you love Aldis thanks love, man uh, love the show you guys are doing a great job Probably have a great guest on today. You guys we always do. Fucking killing it. Um, I'm calling today about uh, a, a strange issue I have. Never had to deal with this in my life. But uh, I'm from California, from the Bay Area. Um, nice. I got a lot of friends who are uh, different cultures than me. Mostly oh, no. a lot of no, like Latino me. friends. Uh, <laughs> you know, we got like our, my black friends and stuff. Oh, like like that. <laughs> Asian yep. friends is very a very quieter. cool mixture of people, right? <laughs> That's always a um, weird move. A few white when someone says there, black, man. just a little quieter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I've got the, my uh, <laughs> black friends. 
Especially because he's talking about one guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's one guy for sure. Yeah, a, progra- a programmer he knows. I got Reggie. <laughs> I've got my Reggie, and Reggie's got his Reggie. <laughs> All right. Asian friends is very, very cool. <laughs> Mr. Still listen, right? <laughs> um, I'm one of the few white dudes there, and, you know, everyone loves, like, embracing their own culture. You know, I got one of my Chinese friends. He's, he's learned how Dog. to speak Mandarin. And he's, like, cooking the food, loving it. Um, all, all my other friends are, are, you know, very into, like, their own families and their own uh, mm-hmm. cultures and stuff. And it's awesome. You know, it kicks ass. We got a cool uh, <laughs> mixture of things going on. And, you know, it's, uh, but, I follow them down those paths, and they've always told me, they're like, yo, like, you know, we're, you got to do your own thing. Like, I'm not, like, you know, copying them or anything. But they're like, you know, embrace your own culture. Like, find out those things from your roots. I'm like, Listen, yeah, they're idea. just yeah. asking you to stop using that accent when you talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just don't say me so horny when you come to <laughs> We're just yeah. embracing each other's cultures. <laughs> Every time we have sushi, she's like, oh, delicious. <laughs> It was so good. So fresh. <laughs> what the rest? They're like, shit, you got to stop you with that. Be your own guy, man. My grandma's pissed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what he's... This is a, This is the rare long call with no transcription that Eldis let slip through. So I'm guessing it's good. This is one of those where like... I'm skeptical, but I'll allow it, counselor. So I hope, you know, I hope you're going somewhere with this, Eldis. Well, this is great. Um, thing is, my, my roots are very southern like United mm-hmm. States Southern, like my family's been here since like early 1600s. Oh no, uh, not really much like Welsh culture that I feel <laughs> like that. I'm really close Southerners. with, you know, it's been so fucking long. Um, there's a lot of like, you know, Arkansas South. Mm, and damn. whenever I try to really bring those things up, talk about those things, do some of the stuff that I think is like fun, like, you know, cooking like crawdads and like, you know, shooting guns and driving boats on like lakes and shit um a lot of it is met with like hey that has a troubling past connected to it that's kind of racist don't do that stuff Uh, which i get so now i'm in this position where it's like how do i embrace that or like really honor that and kind of like touch base with my you know my heritage a little more without like without it coming off because there is so many negative associations with it. There's a lot of bad stuff and a lot of bad things people have done. So how do I kind of show that without really, like, triggering people to think about, you know, what's associated with it? I mean, I'm, like, I, I, I'm, you know, I try to be as, like, respectful as possible. Like, I'm... I, I'm a big Bernie Sanders guy. Which is, like, <laughs> yeah. All right. right. Yeah, I'm, I'm with I'm, you. I'm, you can I'm tell because of how nervous you are doing this whole call. <laughs> like, you know, making anyone feel bad about themselves. So I'm kind of hiding it a little bit. But, like, I don't know. Is there yeah. a point where, like, you've ever had to deal with, like, you know, <laughs> Greek culture, like, offending people? I don't no, know. but Never. Yeah, no. I'd love to get your opinions on it. And, uh, yeah. Okay. I see what he's getting at. Yeah. yeah. It could have gone, by the way, way worse. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I was sure. for sure he was going to be like, so they don't like it when I say pee-pee in their coke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But that, yeah. Was, that was understandable. Yeah. I mean, I think it's tough because you might also, like, crawdads are not racist. <laughs> like, that's, that's no. a tough thing. It's like, you kind of you kind of did go the right way in my, like, if I were this guy, I would try and get, yeah, like, some fun hillbilly shit which is like have a crawdad, a crawdad boil, like you know, maybe shooting guns is fun, but maybe though you're in the Bay Area, maybe they're just like yeah. not gun people, but it's, like it's a liberal yeah. swap. I, I yeah. lived there for yeah. years. So I know there's like there is a hypersensitivity yeah. Yeah. to that type of thing within the Bay Area where I could see it like he's being shut down. He's for sure like, hey guys, I want to hoot and holler or whatever yeah, yeah, the fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they do in Arkansas. <laughs> but I I do want, I do agree with him that he needs to find a way to touch into what he's into for sure i, 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 yeah, I do th- also think that uh and it, i i think we've reached a point where we have to stop calling everything that white people do racist i know that's the <laughs> i know that's the thing is like this guy i f- kind of feel for him yeah because it's like what he's described so far is like if, if it's like like food is kind of the great equalizer here right. it's like yeah. just do a little recipe it's like it's like the guy there were like as hard as it is to believe it's like 
There were people that weren't racist or that being explicitly racist wasn't a part of this specific like dish or thing or but like, even if it was is yeah. it fucking yummy yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. I'll eat exactly. right, right. Right. the biscuits are still right. eating I don't yeah, care right. I don't care what you no that's a good point yeah. Paula, <laughs> Paula Dean, you know I mean it's like that cut you put, put a lot of butter in it yeah it's like, come yeah. on she was still making great Listen, fucking pies and I'm shit. out here I'm eating shawarma do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they're human. You know, where a lot of shawarma makers specifically stand on maybe trans rights. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's like, it, and you're right. It's like we have to kind of. It, it's it's it has gotten too far where it's like this guy's just people are asking him to be a part of it, yeah. and he's right. like, hey, here's some here's a recipe from my Arkansas great grandmother, and they're like. How did she feel about black people? It's like, you know how she felt about it them. Doesn't matter. Can we have she some felt. cobbler? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> also, also, if you're a foreigner, a lot of your grandparents feel a lot of bad ways. Uh, 100%. Uh, about a lot of people. Uh, 100%. I'm not bringing my grandma in to say what she thinks about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. Right? It's bad. So, you know what I mean? It's like. No, that's a great point. Yeah. yeah, yeah who yeah, can't yeah, like, yeah. like, we're doing that kind of thing. You're absolutely Foreigners right. Foreigners are racist. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and the yeah. locals are too. And, yeah, and yeah, yeah, I, I just think I think we've reached a point where we are so hyper aware of what white people's history was. Yeah, in right. this country that we just go ah racist. Right, it's right, like right. bro, yes, but no. And yeah, we get yeah, to block yeah. our own history. Yeah, behind that, where it's like well, you guys are pretty wrong. And it's like all right, but you know, yeah. yeah it's like society's supposed to continue. We're all supposed to be moving forward. Right. We're all supposed to be better. Than our ancestors, like we're all supposed to be more open minded and more cultural, and you know, and having the mix. So it's like, if I were this guy, it's like, yeah, what do you do with some Arkansas shit? I think, I think you're kind of on the right track with like, food is always a nice cultural thing. To, yeah. to, I think food's the going. best. That's the easiest one. And then it's like four wheelers, four wheelers, hell yeah, dude. Saying, some moonshine, yeah, yeah. the stuff that's <laughs> I mean, not yeah, guns, yeah, 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 just yeah. take out the guns, guns take out the like guns. scary for people, that's and, all yeah, 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 I love it, but I get it, yeah, yeah. but like, yeah, for anything like fishing is probably a thing fishing, that your family yeah, did that's yeah, a good yeah, yeah, yeah. time to have outside, blowing into a jug, <laughs> <laughs> make sure there's yeah. three X's on that jug. <laughs> <laughs> Blowing into a jug, wearing overalls with nothing underneath. Yeah, I'm sure you, know you know play I mean? some type of spoons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Walk around barefoot, they'll love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that all that stuff is very good, I think. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I, that's, I, I just, the, the, the hard thing is, like, it sounds to me that people telling you to not bring it up, it's like, it's tough because we don't know, like, they're probably just being dickheads to be honest with you yeah. it's like I know we don't have enough this guy is so nervous he's, he's so nervous and he's clearly done a lot of work to integrate if yeah. that's where he's from yeah, yeah and yeah. he moved to the Bay Area and yeah. he has this peer group yeah he's clearly done a lot of work to integrate himself and to be understanding yeah. and whatnot, so it's yeah. like you got to give the guy, you got to reach back and of course give the guy help the guy out a little the, bit. Yeah, right? you got to meet this motherfucker more than ha I mean, he's more than halfway, and it's like you shouldn't feel this nervous and shit for <laughs> for sharing a fucking you know recipe uh, or whatever or you know cooking some crawdads or whatever. And it's like, and maybe uh, at the extreme end, it's like if your friends are being such dickheads about you. Maybe those aren't also your friends. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like yeah. it's like maybe and look, I'm not telling you to go fucking be QAnon, right? I'm not saying I'm not <laughs> saying go, go I'm not saying go find uh, more I'm not saying go find actually <laughs> racist white people to be friends with, but I'm saying like there's you could definitely so, like, you know, obviously I we have a big problem where it's like people say like the the there's the extremes on both sides and for the most part Right extreme is like way more violent and yeah, shitty than left right. extreme, but left extreme is annoying. Yeah. Like maybe they're not people that are gonna murder. You know, I'm not super worried about like criminal. You know, like fucking an insurrection or like them killing someone they don't agree with. But 
I don't want to hang out with them. Yeah, no, you know what get, I mean? It's like, get, well, it's actually, like, actually to death. Yeah, yeah, every yeah. black yeah, friend actually, is not created yeah. equal. Yeah, every yeah, red yeah, is yeah, not yes, a good red yes, 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 absolutely. <laughs> See, when I listened to this, I thought he was talking about the Filipinos specifically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're the chillest, actually. <laughs> Filipinos yeah. are just the... Nobody's the, ever had to replace their Filipino really friend. They really fucking rock, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get a lot of, a lot of interesting, like, uh, yeah, it's like... Philippine, uh, someone have called them the party Asian, yeah. which I like. You know? I do yeah. like that. That's a fun. That's a every Filipino friend I've had has always been a great, a great time. They are they're always fun. They always have cool jerseys. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Some of them are black. It seems like. <laughs> <laughs> still, I'm still trying to figure that out. Thin line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll say the N word, yeah, and, yeah. and you're wondering if you're gonna let them. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, how far am I willing to go at this bus stop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it turns out I don't care about that word. <laughs> Not when there's six of them. <laughs> uh, so anyway, buddy, good luck, and uh, you know. Try and get. Some, I'm sure, like Arkansas has some banging desserts, some yeah, banging. Yeah. You know, talk about diabetes. You know what I mean? Like, so just try on, and man. share some of that shit. And if people are being dickheads, maybe you need to find some less annoying friends. Also, it's a possibility. A less less shitty, judgy friends. It's a possibility. Yeah. Because that's one of the not one of the greatest things about actual close friends is like you then can behave fucked up yeah. because we have established. That in reality, we're all cool. We all believe, you know, we are, we're all on the same page with human rights and racism and all that shit. Yeah. So now that we've established that, we can say some racist yeah. stuff That's when we get amongst to the friends. Stuff. You know? <laughs> then we can really let our hair down. Yeah. And if you're being robbed by, for, of that, that's not true friendship. <laughs> yeah. if, if it feels like a fucking HR like, uh, uh, PowerPoint every time you hang out with your friends... Those aren't your friends. There's man. a lot of Filipino jokes on the table in your relationship yeah. That, yeah. that you got to get a chance to pick up. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's your turn, baby. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck. Oh, yeah? <laughs> uh, one more. What do you got? You guys, boys, got time for one more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Let's do another. Let's, let's, this is a good one to finish us off with, Elders. All right. I saw him. I've left a couple messages, not making it brief, but I uh, am bad at keeping. Uh, being uh, grateful for my relationships. I had a six month relationship where I really didn't appreciate what I had. And I, as soon as I'm like out of these relationships, I get really sad and like want them back, even though like while I was in them, I was like super sad and everything. Mm -hmm. I, uh, this is probably like a more therapy oriented question, but I <laughs> want to know like what to do to like say, and say, uh, grateful for what you have during a relationship. Mm. I know you've had some, like, more experiences with this where you thought you were the man. Can I ask, what are you, what? What are you doing to these people that makes them feel like <laughs> they love you? You're the person that should hey, be man. answering this hey, question. You know, I I shockingly <laughs> have some insight where you wouldn't be, where you wouldn't believe where you wouldn't believe it is. Uh, I I definitely have some insight on this question yeah. for sure. I've this is my this has been my you know experience. So basically, this guy is saying uh, he he basically just takes every relationship for granted, mm -hmm. and that you know, and then he just realizes he fucks up, which. I definitely relate to. I have fucked up every, pretty much every relationship. I'm like, oh, oh, if I fuck, I really should. I actually love that girl. When when it's happening, you're you're actively being like, I don't give a shit, and then you're. It's not even I don't give a shit. It's I have this weird, I have these this weird nerves of like, should I? Do I even want this? Like I have right. this weird like anxiety about like, am I? Is this right? Am I? Should I be with her? Should she be with me? Like. I'm just overthinking everything where it's like, I'm, it's like I'm not enjoying the relationship, but it's like, it stops me from like, the future freaks me out. And yeah. so if like, at any sign of like a problem, I'm just, I'm hardwired to be like, all right, well, if there's a problem, we should just fucking stop. Uh, you know, yeah. like we shouldn't work through it. Like this is a sign, this little problem <laughs> is a sign to just break up, you know, yeah. to let it go or, you know, just, just some shit like that. So, um... This guy seems to be in that in that kind of like in that kind of mind frame where he just completely is fucking up his relationships and only realizing with the benefit of hindsight that, that he that actually he would have liked to stick that out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I yeah. mean, that's difficult, right? He's like, you got to practice mindfulness, right? With when you're in it. Yeah, and I think for me, with the only thing that helped me kind of get over this is to be like, oh, well, those feelings are wrong and stupid. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. what, everything I'm thinking is fucking dumb. I'm dumb. You got to yeah. beat your hardwire. Yeah, yeah it, totally. And it's hard to do, but I just, you just kind of have to stay in it and be like, I want this relationship and kind of like intellectually remind yourself. And then eventually just kind of like, for me anyway, I don't know what your situation is. I don't know if it's exactly the same thing, but you know, just like let almost convince yourself or just remind yourself what you want and then just kind of like keep going after it and like rem- and and also remind yourself where you are now how like you're always sad you always fuck it up and the thing for me that to always realize was like i would get up all in my head and worried cuz i'm like well you know every relationship is like it has to be like perfect or we have to get like or it has to be serious. It's like, not really. Yeah. You can just date someone and see where it goes. Yeah. Stop thinking about what's going to happen. Stop thinking about the problems in the future. And just enjoy what you're in. And I think that was, you know, that's a big, uh, like I, tr- I was in that thinking. I, I was in a pretty long relationship, you know, ultimately whatever. It didn't work out, but it was fine. And I've been fucking, I've been on the road so much that I haven't really dated, but it's like, I, I'm trying to bring those lessons into the next round of like, all right, when I'm home a little bit, and right. my life is a little regular, I have to remind myself, like... But I feel it... I even feel it kind of happening where it's like, I'll see, you know, I'll see a girl... Or, or it's like, when you're on the road constantly or you live in a different city, it's like, you have the cover of being like, well, this is never going to How could work. I commit yeah. to you? you know? Why? Yeah. So, but I also feel myself when but I do like... But you're still investing When I do life? like someone and I'm like, I'm not even taking that cover. I'm just the same thought process is starting where it's like yeah. here's all these other reasons why it wouldn't work and like whatever right. where it's like right. so I don't know yeah I do think that, that that is a sort of liberating moment in relationships where you stop making it about the outcome mm-hmm. and just make it about the experience yes. as it's happening which is, will be huge for this guy I think. yeah it's right. like it doesn't matter if you guys are together for 40 years or if you break up tomorrow like enjoy the the fucking yeah. day. You still the got day, sucked yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. Still still got no sucked one's off. taking those suck offs away from you. And Come that's on. what I say to my wife most nights. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't take the suck off back. <laughs> and I throw my hands up just like this. <laughs> that's mine now. <laughs> you can take my kid, but you can't take my suck off. Put it on my tombstone. <laughs> uh, so yeah, buddy. I think that's. I think those are. And yes, go to therapy and talk about this shit. I like the other thing I like to say about therapy for this show is like, go to therapy when you have something to work on. Yeah, you don't want to just go to be a therapy person. Like if you if, get aimless very quick. If you have, but if you have a specific thing that's like, this this is a great example where it's like. I I'm never grateful in a relationship, and then when it ends, I I always miss them. It's like something's going on. Yeah. Here. If this pattern keeps happening, to you I don't know where it comes from. Obviously, we don't fucking we, this is a voicemail, and none of us have any training. <laughs> but <laughs> but something's going on here that I think is is worth. We gave it our best shot, yeah. but something's going on here that's like will help you. Like you need to figure this out, not just for your relationships, but for your life in general. Yeah, you owe it to yourself to yeah. go figure out what's going on. 100%. For your own happiness. Um, so, you know, and also if it's like if you're feeling like you're the man, you're not. This also all, often happens where it's like you'll be with a woman who her presence kind of improves your life and your self-esteem. Yeah. And then you're like, I could be getting bitches. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, yeah, like, exactly. it's, like, it's like, what Which am is, I doing here? Yeah. I should be getting more pussy. Which is being ungrateful. Which is being ungrateful. Yeah. Which is yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. you've elevated me. Now yeah, let me take these yeah. new skills yeah, 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 and yeah, apply yeah, them yeah. to someone Look else. Yeah. What you're taking from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Selfish whore. Yeah. So just remember that. It's like, you're not the man. And the second she's gone, all of that juice is gone too. Yeah. And that's why men cheat, by the way. It, does, it would feel awesome to have both. <laughs> to be like, I have the, Come on. I have someone who's making me feel good about myself, and and my life feels you know complete, and she's like elevating me, and then it's like, but there are all the also all these random hot whores, yeah, that I can also just fuck, and that is why cheating is like an age old, 
it fucking probably feels awesome. Yeah, you it's know, like, it's like it's like skateboarding <laughs> and eating a steak yeah, at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's if you can figure it out, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Two peaks at once. Uh-huh. If you can figure it out, good for you. It's tough. It's in my blood. Cheating is in my blood. There's uh, and um, so don't cheat. Don't feel like you're the man, and just try and stay. You know, remind yourself that you're grateful for all this stuff and. And like we said, go to a little therapy, work on this, talk to somebody who might know. But uh, good luck, little buddy. We believe in you, pal. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> uh, anyway, fellas, that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. This was so great. For having us. This Please come long. back anytime you guys are in New York. Let me know. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. We'd love to have you back. And You uh, can't do ours. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if you uh, ever change your mind, I'm, I'm here. I'm available. If you ever decide to dissolve the brand. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Greek. We'll sneak right in there, man. It's not just cha- just just change the the non-American whites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. You know? those are our favorite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so go listen to the podcast. Go see the boys on tour, and uh, we will talk to you guys soon. See you next time. Bye bye.